If you have a question or comment or a threat for Abraham, just stay where you are, raise your hands and Abraham will pick from among you one of you and ask you to come up and sit in this chair right here in the front and I'll pin this little lapel mic on you. Have a good time, talk about anything you want to talk about, you all set the agenda and we're on the way. Good morning. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It is good to come together for the purpose of co-creating. Do you agree? You are knowing what you are wanting? You are understanding that you are the creator of your experience? You are among the rare humans who have come to appreciate the contrast of your time and place. Oh yes, oh yes. More contrast. You are understanding that you are vibrational beings and that you are living in a vibrational universe and the basis of this creative haven is law of attraction. Are you beginning to understand that what you are thinking and what you are feeling and what you are getting is always a vibrational match? As we visit with our physical friends and we talk about this vibrational universe in which you are focused, sometimes, especially in the beginning of the discussion, the idea of being vibrational beings feels a little uncomfortable, even though you are magnificent vibrational beings. You are much more vibrational, you are much more energy, you are much more non-physical, meaning non-seen, non-heard, non-smelled, non-tasted, non-touched energy, than you are the flesh, blood and bone beings that you see. But you have done such an extraordinary job of evolving to this place of being masterful interpreters of vibration through your physical senses that you do not even realize that you are doing it. What you see with your eyes is a vibrational interpretation. What you hear with your ears is a vibrational interpretation. Even what you smell with your nose or taste with your tongue or feel with your fingertips, this is all because of your ability to interpret vibration. And because you were born interpreting you tend to now conclude that what I interpret with my physical senses is reality. And what we are wanting to assist you in understanding and coming to as a result of our interaction here today is that you have the ability to interpret vibration far, far, far beyond these physical senses. And when you begin to attempt to sense vibration from that broader interpreter, which we would call your emotional center, then you begin to get a true reading of who you are then, and really only then, do you begin to understand the relationship that you have between yourselves and the non-physical energy. You are extensions of non-physical energy. You stand here in these physical bodies as extensions of much broader, older, wiser knowing. And so as you are projected here in this leading edge and we really mean that. You are truly leading edge creators on the leading edge of thought. As you stand here in this leading edge environment, 
perceiving the contrast of this time-space reality. Out of that which you are perceiving, out of the contrast that you are giving your attention to, you continue to conclude or to determine new things. And as a new idea or a new desire is determined within you, the non-physical energy that creates all things comes forth in answer to that. We are all part of a universe that is attraction-based. There is no assertion. And what the attraction means is that everything is coming to you. Nothing can be pushed away from you. There is only inclusion. There can be no exclusion. And what that means to you in a very personal sense is that when you look out into the contrast and you see those things that you would like to have in your experience and you see something wonderful and you say, oh yes, I'd like some of that, by your attention to it, not by your words, yes, by your attention to it, you include it in your vibration. When you see something not wanted and you look at this awful thing and you say, no, no, I want not that, get that away from me, by your attention to it, not by your words, you are including it in your vibration. So it turns out in this vibrational universe there is no such thing as no. There is only yes. So we would like to encourage you to begin to pay attention to the way that you feel in order to understand whether you are in this moment allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you or not. If you are allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you, you feel clear, you feel good, you feel eagerness, you feel enthusiasm, you feel joy, you feel appreciation, you feel what you would call love. If you are not allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through, then you might feel something that you would call aggravation or frustration or disappointment or blame or guilt or even hatred or strong depression. In other words, the emotions that you feel are your true indicator of your connection to this source energy. When you feel the feeling that you would call passion, what passion means is you are in this moment a true extension of the non-physical energy that is you. In other words, when you feel the feeling of passion, what passion means is something in your environment has caused you to focus or conclude a very clear desire. In other words, when you feel a feeling like passion, it means there's strong wanting going on within you. And in the feeling of passion, it means that there are no contradictory thoughts within you that are not allowing the desire to flow fully through you. When you feel a strong emotion like hate or rage or strong depression, any of those strong negative emotions, what that means relative to your desire factor is you still have a very strong desire going on within you. But the feeling of strong negative emotion means you are in this moment holding a thought, you have included some thoughts that are not vibrationally same as the desire that you hold. So what that means is you are including vibrations that are serving as resistance that are not allowing the fullness of who you are to flow through you. It is important to understand in this vibrationally based universe that is based on the law of attraction that there is no such thing as exclusion. There is no such thing as pushing something away. And so that means every time you look at something and you gather great energy as you say, I really, really, really do not want that, what you're actually doing is holding yourself really, 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 really in vibrational harmony with this thing you do not want. So you have set up a resistance factor within you that is disallowing the fullness of that which would be there otherwise. And so the basis of your universe, the basis of everything that all of us are about is this law of attraction that is based upon this law of allowing, which means I as an individual, whether I'm physically focused, whether I'm non-physically focused, whether I'm the one-celled amoeba in the ocean or the fully functioning human genius, it does not matter where I stand or who I am, wherever I am, I am consciousness that is perceiving. And as I am perceiving, I am vibrating. And as I am vibrating, I am attracting. And law of attraction is this incredible manager in the sky. Not really in the sky, but it gives you a sense that it is, it is this, this universal law, this manager that says that which is likened to itself is drawn. Good. Now you know everything we know. You're ready to begin? You are ready to begin. Here, then here, then here.